Mountains attract us by their beauty and majesty. However, they demonstrate enormous forces, periodically resulting in natural hazards for people who intrude into their world. El Bruce Volcano is the highest mountain of the Caucasus. Fourteen glaciers comprise area of 113 square kilometers and extend from the top of 5,042 meters to a valley bottom lying at 2,500 meters above sea level. Glaciation is a phenomenon widely spread in the mountains of the Great Caucasus. Glaciers are currently at the stage of intensive degradation. Glacial mudflows occur as a result of retreat and degradation of the glaciers. The Baksan River, emerging from the Elbrus glaciers, is typical for the Caucasus Mountains. In the upper reaches, it accepts 27 debris flow tributaries with 136 glaciers in their basins. The glaciers account for 17% of the total basin area. Catastrophic debris flow with a total volume more than 3 million cubic meters took place in the Gurkhanjan River, one of the Baksan River outflows on 2000. It was the greatest debris flow in the 20th century in this region. Deposits acting in the debris process determined the magnitude of debris flows. The geology of the Gurkhanjan River catchment favors for accumulation of glacial deposits more than 50 meters deep. The disaster affected the Ternaus town, which was built on the fan of a river with permanent debris flow regime. The debris flow lasted from July 18 till July 24. The debris flow protection dam was damaged. The debris check canal was put out of action and several buildings were teared down by the debris waves moving along the town streets. The debris masses dammed the Baksan River channel and some town blocks were flooded. Downstream, the debris flow waves moved directly along the riverbed of the Baksan River, overflowing buildings on its fluvial plain. Debris flow origination site was Kayarta Circa Glacier, one of the glaciers located in the upper reaches of the Gurkhajan River. Its formation was related to the processes of thermocast degradation of a moraine complex with the dead ice. This moraine complex of different ages, located at the elevation of 3000 to 3500 meters above sea level, was formed as a result of glacier retreat during the last three millennia. The debris blows have a complex glacial pluvial origin. The main factors of their formation are long-term internal processes, thawing, over-moisturing of frozen ground and degradation of the ice embedded by moraine. The trigger water impulse, which initiated the debris processes, was within the usual flood regime of the river. The start of debris flow is usually caused by warm rain with a precipitation of 20 to 25 mm and more. The downfall of the ice blocks in the glacial tunnels, the outburst of glacial lakes or collapse of glacial cavities may be enough for debris flow formation. After this, the over-moistured ground is washed away, undermining and destruction of canyon slopes 
by erosion take place. Debris flow starts to move down the valley from the place of its emergence, involving debris deposits from the slopes and the bed of a canyon. Moving down the valley to the river mouth, the debris flow increased its volume by hundreds and thousands of times. Unique helicopter surveys allow observing the whole way of debris flow formation. They were performed on July 19, more than 10 hours after the debris flow waves inflicted its greatest damage. Three waves of destruction were still in the future. On these sequences, one can easily see that the debris waves continue their formation in the riverbed. Some traces of previous debris flows are seen on the slopes of the canyon. Under foundation of the Czech Dam, destroyed a year before, the canyon 25 meters deep just formed. The whole channel of the Gerhozhan River 15 kilometers long became one erosion cut from 10 to 30 meters deep and 50 meters wide. Above the debris check dam, the river channel is dammed by landslides. Just in this place, several hours later, the most extraordinary wave will be formed. Deposits involved by this wave were left by ancient glacier, which filled the valley more than 20,000 years ago. Terraces composed of alluvial and debris flow deposits and loose material from the slopes were formed during glacial retreat. Flow origination site is located at the elevation of 3000 meters above sea level. It's the marine glacial complex formed as a result of glacial degradation 3000 years ago. Now we can see the erosion cut, which is the debris origination site. Its overhanging slopes will crash down on the canyon bed 
and cause the giant debris of lower waves. Above the erosion cut under the glacier, modern moraines are located, where water impulse of debris flows forms. This debris flow can be regarded as the greatest to the Gerhanjan river basin with frequency once in thousand years. The traces of similar extreme flows of the distant past are manifested in landforms of the mountain valleys. This served in past and nowadays as a warning of future catastrophe. After the end of debris flow action and drawing of Dent Lake, the reconstruction of the town started, as well as of the Czech Canal. It banks were raised by 4.5 to 10 meters. Nowadays, the progressive expansion of its canal permits to direct the debris mass in parallel to the Baksan River Channel and to distribute them across the whole flood plain. Life in the town is coming back to normal. In order to prevent the danger of debris flows, a monitoring service was organized. Its stations are located in the upper part of the Gerhajan River. But the nature is not asleep, and we always must remember about it. It reminded about itself on the 20th of September 2002, when the collapse of a hanging glacier on the northern slope of Jimarai Hoch mountain in the Kozbek region took place. Its collapse on the Kolka Glacier resulted in the formation of the greatest glacial rocket flow. Flow was nearly 130 million cubic meters in volume. The height of its waves reached 100 to 150 meters and the velocity was more than 50 meters per second. It swept down along the Ganeldon River and was stopped by the canyon of the Rocky Range, the biggest debris flow formed downstream. The catastrophe took more than 100 lives. <laughs>